Okay, good afternoon. My name is Tomas Privanik. I'm the founder and CEO of Undefined Technologies. Today, I'll be covering the subject of will commercial drones ever be silent? Just a little bit about myself. I've been working for 20 years in the aerospace industry, and that includes uh, the private sector, uh, working in government programs, and the and research institutions. Uh, I'm a published author uh, in several uh, peer-reviewed journals. I'm about to get my doctorate degree, finally. <laughs> and uh, I have a professional engineering license uh, from the state of Florida, numerous certifications, and patents as well. Just an overview uh, we're going to be talking about in the next uh, few minutes is um, how noise, how drone noise affects the global uh, drone delivery market. We're going to go over the, no the current and upcoming noise restrictions. Uh, and then I'm going to move into the ion propulsion technology that my startup is developing. As we all know, uh, the last mile delivery uh, sector is going to be increasing dramatically. Just to give you an idea, from uh, the year 2021, we had um, $11 billion and is projected to increase up to $42 billion by the year 2027. And uh, in, a, in a summary or an overview, about 30% of the goods that are, delivery, that are delivered um, carry a 30% up uh, price based on the cost of the last mile delivery. And uh, that's either a transfer over to the consumer or it's or is uh, part of the uh, negative of the margin. So because of that, a lot of startups are now delivering new technologies to create efficiencies to reduce that 30%. An example is a partnership that Walmart created with uh, Flytrek and um, Zipline and Quest Diagnostics to deliver about products in the uh, healthcare sector. And of course, uh, COVID-19 have accelerated or acted as a catalyst for this uh, development. For uh, the delivery of, uh, of last, oh, the delivery of goods in, uh, during, on the last mile sector, uh, the cost will decrease um, over time, provided that all these technologies will come into play. Uh, here's a graph showing a package of, that it weighs 25 kilograms that uh, cost about $110 in the year 2020. It will, be, it will decrease to, the year, to $12 in the year 2030. And logistics will become the main sector within, the, within this decade that will be using uh, drones for delivering their last mile cargo. Now, with all this uh, of, um, of drones to last mile cargo delivery, the, the need is um, to create a regulatory framework that would allow safe use of drones and also uh, would, uh, would allow um, the way those, uh, this new, new technology will interact with, uh, with the community. So there are several challenges, several challenges that are uh, in place so that uh, before drones can be um, used in a, mass, in a mass scale, one of them is noise. The um, current drone technology that uses uh, blades, uh, which turn at a very high speed, they generate high levels of noise at a, le at a very high pitch. And there are companies, <clears throat> excuse me, there are companies that are, are developing um, technologies to decrease these, uh, these decibel levels, um, as well as changing the pitch of, these, of the drones, uh, but we're not there yet. A big factor that is, um, that is important to think about is that the community is gonna weigh the benefits of having a drone delivery to having to put up with the annoyance of the drone. And if we don't find a solution for this, there might be backlash, which might pretty much disintegrate the whole business model. So dealing with this issue now in advance is, is critical. Um, the, I'm showing a, a few examples of the uh, current drones that are uh, being uh, submitted to the FAA for approval. And you can see all of them have quite a few uh, propellers.
Now, historically, noise for drones had been regulated at county level. So each county had, had their own um, levels of noise that was allowed, and it was pretty low. It's more, it was more designed for cars and other items, um, and they range in the 70 decibels uh, during the day to around 50 at night. Now, that, that change of, uh, on September 27, last year, with, when the FAA issues a notice of uh, proposed rulemaking for, uh, for drones, um, it was specifically made for the Martinet uh, drone, but for those who have worked with the FAA for a long time, uh, we know that that cascades to everyone. Now, the interesting uh, thing about this uh, proposal of rulemaking that was very specific to the way drones are tested for noise. So it has items such as not only the number of decibels, but the, the type of propulsion that is used. Um, and it has uh, in place clauses to submit a test plan for every specific drone before they can achieve uh, certification. Um, one of the, uh, some of the factors that it, that it, that it for is the uh, location of the microphone, uh, the type of surface that the drone is tested. Um, and one aspect that is very important is that the um, distance from ground to uh, the drone was reduced to 250 feet. Um, before it was about 492, and that was more for small helicopters. Now we move into the technology that Undefined Technologies is uh, developing. So we, we took the propellers out of the drone. We decided to go in a different route and uh, using a lot of um, innovative physics, we um, are using ion propulsion to uh, generate lift. So um, this is a little video of our, some of our flights. We currently have two successful flights. Um, just to give you an idea of how the technology works. So um, the drone energizes the, safely energizes the air around, around it to um, drive the air downwards. So in this accelera acceleration of the air uh, creates a uh, thrust. And um, we, as an as early stage startup, we're going through different milestones. So we had our first successful flight uh, back in April last year, and it was a proof of concept. We had uh, a flight that lasted about 25 seconds, and it generated high levels of noise, about 95 decibels. But um, once we got the proof of concept, we got to work, and our last flight was in uh, December 21st, and we achieved 2.5 minutes of flight with 85 decibels of noise. And as we move to uh, this year for the second quarter, we're gonna move to two, from 2.5 minutes to five minutes, 75 decibels of noise, of noise. And by the end of this year, we're gonna be uh, in the 15 minute mark with uh, 70 decibels of noise, which is gonna pose us to a minimum viable product. And uh, this is just what I, what I covered. As you can see the, uh, the graph of, uh, of noise, is, it has a good trend as well as the flight time. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Um, in case you have any questions, you feel free to um, walk to, uh, talk to me on the side, reach out to me by email, and I'll be happy to, to answer any questions you may have.